Welcome to another training session. In today's tutorial, we will see how we can make a program in the ladder logic to control the travel distance of the conveyor belt using the three phase motor with a disc brake coupled with an incremental encoder. We will be able to control and measure the distance traveled by the conveyor belt. Before going further, I will request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. We have a conveyor belt which is moving with a motor and a gearbox. We have coupled an incremental encoder with 360 pulses per revolution with this motor. We are using S7-1200 PLC for this project. If you want to see how we can connect an encoder with the PLC, the link is in the description box for this video tutorial. First of all, we will add a PLC in the project and open the device configuration. Now if we select the CPU and open its properties, here we will find the high speed counters. Expand this menu and select the high speed counter 1. Enable this counter. Type of the counting will be count. Operating phase will be AB and the counting direction will be up count. Next in the hardware inputs I0.0 .0 and I0.1 inputs are already selected. We have connected the AB phase wires at the I0.0 .0 and I0.1 PLC inputs. Next we can read the encoder value from the input word IW1000. Let's see the programming for the today's project. In the network number 1 we have a logic to read the encoder current value and convert it into the real data type. We have used the move instruction to move the current value of the encoder from ID1000 to MD1000 memory. Next we have used the conversion instruction to convert the encoder value from the double integer to the real data type and save the result in the MD20 memory data register. Next in the network number 2 we have a logic to calculate the distance traveled by the conveyor. First of all, we will calculate the distance traveled by the conveyor for one encoder pulse. The conveyor travels 15 mm for one complete turn of the encoder. As we know that we have connected the encoder with 360 pulses in one turn. So we will divide the 15 mm by 360 to calculate the distance in mm per pulse of the encoder and save the result in the MD30 memory. Next, we will multiply the current encoder value MD20 with the millimeter per pulse MD30. This will give us the total distance traveled by the conveyor MD40. In the network number 3, we have a logic to start the motor in the forward direction. When this bit M0.3 turns on, it will turn on the PLC output Q0.0 to run the motor in the forward direction. This forward command can only be turned off if we press the stop push button M0.4 or by the bit M0.0 which indicates that the conveyor has reached the set point while running in the forward direction. In the network number 4, we have a logic to start the conveyor in the reverse direction. When this bit M0.5 turns on, it will turn on the PLC output Q0.1 to turn on the motor in the reverse direction. This reverse command can only be turned off if we press the stop push button M0.4 or by the bit M1.0, which indicates that the conveyor has reached the set point while running in the reverse direction. Now let's suppose if the conveyor is running in the forward direction and as the conveyor motor traveled, becomes greater or equal to the set point, it will turn on the M0.0 bit and this bit will turn off the forward run command Q0.0. Now let's suppose that if the conveyor is running in the reverse direction and as the conveyor motor traveled value becomes less or equal to the set point, it will turn on the M1.0 bit. This bit will turn off the reverse run command Q0.1. As you can see that we are reading the encoder value properly. Right now the conveyor motor is at 0.0 mm. Now let's run the conveyor motor in the forward direction. We will give it the set point of 1250 mm. Let's start the conveyor by pressing the start forward push button. The motor forward contactor turns on and the conveyor starts to move in the forward direction.
as the conveyor traveled reading reaches 1250 mm the bit m0.0 turns on the normal contact of this bit m0.0 opens and turn off the q0.0 forward run command and motor stops at 1250 mm now let's change the set point to 2500 mm and again start the forward run command q0.0 by pressing the start forward push button m0.3 As the conveyor motor traveled reading reaches the 2500 mm the bit M0.0 turns on and this bit turns off the Q0.0 forward run command and motor stops at 2500 mm. Now let's change the set point to 5000 mm and again start the forward run command Q0.0 by pressing the start forward push button. As the conveyor travel reading reaches the 5000 mm, the bit M0.0 turns on, and this bit will turn off the forward run command Q0.0, and motor stops at 5000 mm. Now let's run the conveyor in the reverse direction. We will change the set point to 1250 mm, and turn on the reverse run command Q0.1 by pressing the start reverse push button M0.5. And now the conveyor is running in the reverse direction. As the conveyor travel reading reaches 1250 mm, the bit M1.0 turns on. The normal close contact of this bit opens and turns off the Q0.1 reverse run command. And conveyor stops at 1250 mm. Now let's bring back the conveyor motor in the home position. We will change the set point to 0 mm and start again the reverse command Q0.1 by pressing the start reverse push button. As the conveyor motor travel reading reaches 0 mm, the bit M1.0 turns on. The normal close contact of this bit opens and turns off the Q0.1 reverse run command and motor stops at 0mm or its home position. So this is how we can control a conveyor belt and measure the distance traveled by the conveyor belt. I hope you liked today's tutorial. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. Till next time, take care and